Is it socially acceptable to drink pineapple juice from the carton in public? I don't know, but I don't want to live in a world where it's not. Here we go. I actually know the very specific, very rare type of introvert or extrovert you are based on your movie picks. We have a genius creating the BuzzFeed quizzes. A genius that goes by the name of Chalky Milk 1997. Psychologist extraordinaire. First pick an action movie. Oh, there's too many options, man. The Mummy, instantly my, my mind went there. Spider-Man and The Mummy are like the two, the two films on this list that are synonymous with my childhood. Like I consider these things like my childhood films, growing up with them. Honestly, of all of these, first of all, let's get one thing straight. They're all fucking incredible, but I would also pick Spider-Man. Spider-Man is, I've got a lot of good memories. I used to get the Spider-Man comics and stuff once a week. Well, not even comics, like magazines and shops. I even appeared in one of them because I, I did like a drawing competition and you could like send it into the company and they'd print it on the back of the magazine. I did that. And I got in there. I got like a big, as, as, a, as a prize for it, I got a big um, mechanical Doc Ock arm. That I could like, it's basically a fancy litter picker to be honest, but <laughs> it looked cool. I used to just use it to beat my sister over the head. <laughs> I lost it. I never know where it went. <laughs> Pick a sci-fi movie. Back to the Future, Goated, Interstellar, Goated, but less feel good. You don't watch Interstellar to feel happy. E.T. the Extraterrestrial still to this day fucks with my head. I, I can't bring myself to enjoy it. I find E.T. too creepy, man. He freaks me the fuck out. Jurassic Park. Also, there's some spooky shit in E.T. First off, the John Williams soundtrack, though. Incredible. But there's some spooky shit. The stuff with all the scientists and all the tunnels in the house and all that. I hated the home invasion feel of it. Never watched Interstellar. Only reason why is that it's too long. Well, that's what I mean by, like, you don't sit down to have a good time with Inter Interstellar. You sit down to have, like, a... I don't know, an epiphany about life. <laughs> to consider existence. <laughs> no, Interstellar's a thrilling time. It is a good time. But it's 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 something you want to see and, and be in awe of, you know? <clears throat> Jurassic Park, are you ready for this one? Are you ready for this one? I've never seen Jurassic Park. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. I've never seen a single Jurassic Park film. And the thing is, as I was growing up and they started to bring out like Jurassic World and stuff. Nah. That just made me hate it even more. Because I just see how expensive it is and it makes me feel ill. That's wild. <laughs> yeah, what can I say? I like to live dangerously. Return of the Jedi as a kid was my favorite of the original three. And then I developed taste and reasonable media takes. <laughs> and now, not so much, but the last the last half hour of Return of the Jedi is like the, the last half hour that I associate most with my, my nostalgic uh, memories of the film. The film series, to be fair. Endor, I could take it or leave it, but all the stuff on the second Death Star? Yeah, man. Planet of the Apes, 2001. Why 2001? Interesting choice. That is the first Planet of the Apes film that I saw. I don't remember much from it. I do remember the PS1 game that was adjacent to it, the movie tie-in. And I could never get past the first level. You had to escape like a cell or some shit. With nothing but like a toothpick or something in your mashed potatoes. And I don't remember ever being able to actually successfully do the first mission. <laughs> Oh, we got it in a bundle though, it was so cheap, so I didn't feel like I was obligated to do it, so I just fucking tossed it aside and just played the M&M game instead. That's the M&M candy game, not that there was an M&M, the rapper game, um, but the M&M's game was incredible on PS1, what a time. That and the Harry Potter games, which I've spoken about in detail during the Hogwarts Legacy play. Men in Black, incredible, we love that. Guardians of the Galaxy, also incredible, we love that. 
But there's just something about, if I want a feel-good film, fuck it, I'm going Men in Black. I'm going Men in Black. I don't care. I'm a man of taste. <laughs> I'm going Men in Black. That's like a lose yourself and just have fun with it. So is Guardians, but like... <clears throat> Men in Black's that classic, you know? Guardians will be a classic. Not for me yet, is all. Now pick a horror film. Now we're talking. Now we're talking... See, the people with, like, taste and consider themselves to be movie aficionados, they'll go with Psycho, probably. Like, mmm, yes, I do love Hitchcock's works, mmm. Silence of the Lambs is incredible. I absolutely love it. The others... I've seen it once, but I don't really remember much about it. It Follows, though. Also amazing. If you haven't seen It Follows, I would highly, highly encourage it. Very unique idea. And it's quite short as well, which is nice. It, I loved so much when it came out. Andy Muschietti's 2017 It. Really enjoyed it. I was so excited for the sequel, and that turned out to be the biggest piece of shit <laughs> I'd seen that year. <laughs> it was just all over the place. But the first one, I'm a fan. I've never seen Frozen, but if the concept of this film is that people get stuck in midair and like desperately <laughs> are trying not to die or fall from this thing or their hands get stuck to it and they can't get off and they're stuck on this eternally that is a horrific concept and i'm here for it if i'd seen it i would probably pick this just by nature of how horrifying that truly sounds hush i've not seen scream i have seen but scream to me is not really a horror film <laughs> I just, it's not horrific anymore it's too cliched because it well it was the cliches it created the cliches, but now I can't watch it. <laughs> I just think of Scary Movie. I just picture this dude screaming was up down the phone, <laughs> so I can't. Silence of the Lambs is, unfortunately. <laughs> well, not unfortunately, I'd gladly watch this anytime. Now pick a drama. Okay, this is probably where my film knowledge probably dips the most. I'm not big on dramas. Stand By Me. The Stephen King adaptation, I know very little about. All that I know about it, ironically, given we were just talking about it, is that it is largely based off of ideas from it, as is Stranger Things, among other things. Uh, Forrest Gump, I think, is overrated. That's my hot take. Have that. I don't think Forrest Gump is as good as people make it out to be. I've never seen field, gr sorry, fried green tomatoes. Nor have I seen American Beauty. The Truman Show, I love, but I can't in good... Okay, honestly, controversial winner of the 2000s Oscar, Gladiator. This, I do also hold close to me. It's actually, if you if you look up my film stuff, if you look up Dan Talks Films on YouTube, you'll see my old film videos. There is one video on that channel, actually, I think it might be privated now. I think it's privated now, but there's one video on that channel where I talk about like my top 10 films and Gladiator squeezes in there. It does, just because I have so much uh, emotion associated with it. It never fails to fuck me up. And also, the soundtrack is badass as fuck from Hans Zimmer, so what's not to love? Truman Show is also great. But for me, Gladiator, purely because I haven't seen field, fried green tomatoes, field green tomatoes. I haven't seen The Outsiders. Um, I'm going with Gladiator. I have to. I have to be true to myself. I remember cycling to my friend's house to watch it, and then I had to cycle back home three kilometers, which one kilometer was in the middle of a road, of pitch black road through the forest. Are you talking about Silence of the Lam Lambs you had to watch? Silence of the Lambs? <laughs> I'd pick Truman Show or Forrest Gump of those two. Yeah. Fair. Are you like me? Have you also only seen like three of these? Pick a romance. The Wedding Singer is not even a question. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> I see Adam Sandler. I click. Oh, it you're talking about. Mm. The most recent one. Near the exact same as me. <laughs> Truman, Forrest, and Gladiator. Pick a comedy. Free Guy was alright. I didn't mind it. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I've only seen the first 10 minutes of. I really want to watch it. I just haven't got around to it. I watched the first 10 minutes and then I had to go out somewhere and I was like, I really like this. I'm going to pick this back up. Never picked it back up. It's always that way. White chicks 
is a disaster. <laughs> Don't talk to me about white chicks. Legally Blonde, I never saw. Kindergarten Cop is quite funny, but <laughs> I think of these. Man, I've seen no films. How am I a film student? <laughs> As if the only thing I can actually say I've seen fully is White Chicks and Free Guy. <laughs> the fuck? What are they trying to guess? They're trying to guess if I'm like a hermit. What's the what's the point of this quiz? They're going to know the very specific rare type of introvert or extrovert I am. Okay. If you say so. I want to know what sort of introvert watches white chicks. <laughs> Please enlighten me. I'm just of my curiosity. Pick a fantasy. Princess Bride. Sorry. Um Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Labyrinth. I did enjoy we studied Labyrinth a little bit in school. I enjoyed that. Uh Lemony Snake. Oh, it's not the best. Look, this is not the best film on this list, but this is my again, that's totally my childhood. Wow. But like it is Jim Carrey is um Olaf just goated. Yes, you you would pick Lord of the Rings. I, I suspect most would. But Lord of the Rings, ag again, in a similar way like Interstellar. Sure, I appreciate it from a technical standpoint and the fact that it was such a long process in the making. Very impressive in almost every regard. Didn't it win like 45 Oscars as well? But for me, my GOAT, Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. It's just the scene of Jim Carrey just doing dinosaur sounds. <laughs> just in his living room, like... Nah! It's just wonderful. It's so good. Okay, The Lion King is my favourite animated film, if you didn't know. And so I'm already... I, I already know the answer to this. The Iron Giant, incredible. Land Before Time, I've seen it once, I don't remember it. Aladdin, I love. Shrek, I don't think anything needs to be said. <laughs> it's earned its status as a true classic. <laughs> Sing to, don't even talk to me. Um, Lion King for me. Lion King for me. It has to be. It has to be. Homeward Bound. Oh, <laughs> what a film. What a film. Pick a family film. I've seen all of these apart from The Parent Trap. <laughs> I would pick Cars, but it's not on the list, so Shrek. <laughs> yeah, what are they doing? How are they doing Cars dirty like that? How dare they? I, 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 I'm I going to be honest with you. I've seen Alvin and the Chipmunks way more than any rational, normal human being should have. <laughs> I've watched it too many times. Because I grew up, like, that was peak me at the cross-section between primary school and high school. Like, 10, 11-ish. I was obsessed with it. Also, I was quite a musical kid, so I was like, yeah, it's my jam. <laughs> Groovy. And now I watch it again. I never watch it and I just can't get through it without dying of cringe. <laughs> There's something kind of cute about them though. There's an element of like, ah. But you take that and you multiply it by 10 and you end up with Homeward Bound. Bit of a snooze fest if you're, if you're not in a position where you want your heartstrings to be tugged at. But if you want to sit there and sob at your TV, it's probably this. <laughs> it's probably Homeward Bound or Free Willy. One of those two. Casper's ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. Asper. <laughs> I, don't, I don't enjoy Casper. Peter Pan. I always looked at with disdain. I always, I was so bitter about Peter Pan. My friends would be like, oh, Peter Pan is such a good film. I'd be like, mm, have you seen Hook? Hook's much better. Hook is a pretty awful film, but I still love it. Do people try and tell me that Peter Pan is better? No, I'm sorry. Peter Pan wishes it could have one ota, one ota, one iota of the charisma that Hook has as a film. Hook takes more creative shits than Peter Pan. I'm going with Homeward Bound. Shit made me ball like a child. You're a social introvert. Uh, okay, this type of introvert prioritizes their alone time, but they also do well. In Yo, it's, it's actually a good take. That's actually a reasonable. Uh, summation. Fair enough. Fair enough. Choco milk eater, eater, nineteen loathsome dung eater, nineteen ninety seven. You did well. Chipmunks is a valid choice. Chipmunks is not a valid choice. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> no, I can't get with that. <laughs> of all those films, I guess I did choose The Wedding Singer. <laughs> I guess I don't really have a leg to stand on. <laughs>